We're going to start by removing the RAM from the logic board, and this is just to get it out of the way. Next, we want to loosen all of the screws on top of the heatsink, five in total. And what I'm doing here is I'm marking down the number of turns it takes until the threads click over. That way I know how many turns it will take when I put the heatsink back on. The heatsink screws require a 3mm hex wrench and you'll need to get a long arm wrench. I don't believe a regular Allen wrench will reach to the bottom of the heatsink. With the heatsink removed, we just want to wipe off the old thermal paste with rubbing alcohol. And now we can remove the old processor by releasing the tension arm and gently lifting the processor from the pins. Once that is done, we can replace it with the new processor. Reapply our thermal paste. Now gently place the heatsink back onto the logic board. This may take a moment to get all of the screws and the fan connector lined up properly. And now we just retighten the screws and I ended up going a full turn less than they were before just because I was worried about over tightening. When all of the screws are tightened, replace the RAM back onto the logic board. Slide the tray back into the computer and you're ready to go.